Hi guys, so um, I'm going to show you my coffee sleeve mini album that I came up with. I just traced the coffee sleeve on a piece of extra backing and I cut out the piece and I pierced it using my Tim Holtz um, ruler and the pier We Are Memory Keepers piercing tool to get even holes. Then I, piece I pierced each coffee sleeve and used my crop it out with the small hole to punch it. And I wanted to keep the small, the hole pretty small so that when you turned the pages they weren't moving around a lot and it would stand up nicely. And it does afterwards. And I'm using this craft pinking circle to cover the label which is from Tully's Coffee here. And then I'm going to cover it using this acetate, rainbow acetate. Then I have this yellow circle that I want to use. It says the sunny side of life. And I super love how that went. Um, and then I'm going to put, I'm deciding what die cuts or what, what I'm going to do on the bottom there so it doesn't say taste the difference. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have this shiny star border strip. It's like a seal a sticker. It's by Midori and it looks awesome. So I decided I would, would just put it over top. It won't cover everything, but it'll look um, pretty good. Then um, I'm going to take some acetate hearts and then just kind of layer them on top on that blank space in the middle there and that's going to create a nice um, base for everything otherwise it looked kind of funny without something there I just wanted to layer a bit more and bring it all together um, this mini album is going to be for Hideki's aunt because um, well she's single and then we usually like take her out and do a lot of things together and she's really dear to us, so I thought that I would give her a mini album with all the pictures from our day trips and whatnot that we go um, with her and Hideki's parents. So I think she's going to like this. All, all of the um, ephemera and stickers are from the Pink Paisley Hello Sunshine collection. And I super love this collection. It is really, really awesome. It has a lot of good stuff in it, and it goes nicely. So there it is all together. I'm just making sure the center is centered there. And I got some glue somehow on, I think. But that's what it looks like. Now we're going to go on, and um, we're going to put this first picture, which is me and her aunt. We are um, taking a picture at a rest area here, a service area. And I really love this picture. It's super sweet so I'm gonna put these cute little flowers on and making sure that they're not blocking the holes on the side there and then I'm gonna use the scallop border strip on the top of the picture and a cute little banner that says you are my sunshine and it's funny because we had yellow bags from shopping so it kind of goes along with it the yellow banner which you'll see here now I kind of switch in between my Tombow um, super high nori strength, high, super strength nor, um, glue, nori means glue in Japanese, sorry. I switched between that, the, the liquid type, and the Tombow mesh tape runner, which um, is really easy. If I get that liquid glue, I always use my paper piercer and just kind of scrape it off. I find that's the best way to get the glue off. I don't have an adhesive um, eraser, but I hope to get one soon. I found this cute little ticket stub, and it says, Be the Rainbow. I can't read, as I'm editing, I can't read what the thing below it says, but I think you can see. So I put a rainbow heart to go along with it with another one. There are a ton of rainbows in the ephemera pack, so it was a lot of fun. And then for some reason, I think my camera died at, before this, so you didn't see the back of that one, but you'll see it when I play it back to you and show you one more time. Now I'm going on to this. Um, we went to the Gaspar and Lisa Cafe at the Neo Pasa um, service area in Shizuoka and it was really, really fun. We had a lot of good times, so I took a lot of pictures when I was there, including this one of us all sit seated on the table and I'm using that striped strip which came in the from our pack and then this one was also a long strip but I just cut the pieces apart so that would be three separate pieces and it says be bright be happy be you 
and I just thought it was really cute. So I'm not worried about lining them up, them up at all. I actually like when they're staggered more. There it is. Uh, the next one I'm using is tab with this is smile and I want it to stick out a little bit because I like um, when things stick out of your album a little bit like that if they're not gonna bend and that one will be just the right but I don't like when there's little tiny things sticking out because they tend to bend or whatnot break but this one's fine the only thing is when I put tape on the back of that I actually didn't take care and I put too much like at the top so I'll end up scraping it afterwards with my paper piercer and um this is funny because Hideki's trying to get his aunt to laugh because she always makes this really straight face so we were bugging her we always bug her about smiling and she actually got a nice smile out of that then I took on this um, next pull out I took the heart and I also did a I stuck it up a little bit higher so that um, it would be like a tap, and then I'm using this little flower acetates on the sides here. And then Hideki's dad's also trying to make her laugh by making a funny face, and she is killing herself. But of course she doesn't look at the camera, so I took this um, one that says laugh on there, and an arrow, and I put the, this on. Or it says smile. And then we had a really nice picture of um, my aunt and her sister, which is Hideki's mom. And I put life on the back. And then I'm going to tape, I'm going to glue that down actually. And then I'm going to put, take care of putting liquid glue down the outside corner on the left side and then the bottom. And it's going to create this pocket where I can slide that second picture of me with the Gaspar character. And um, it'll just be able to pull out, you know. So um, if you use the liquid glue, it will dry and it won't stick. But if you use the tape, um, your picture will most likely stick to the tape and then end up getting sticky and gummy. So if you use the liquid glue, it'll stay in place and it won't slip lower than it's supposed to be. And as I turn it sideways, it fit perfectly on the back there. Now, um, this is when we went to see the Fuji, Fuji Shibazakura Matsuri. And um, it was so gorgeous. I love how purpley the flowers were. So I'm going to have to do a 12 by 12 layout sometime. But I had so much fun. Um, it actually took like all day to get there. It was quite an event because the traffic was crowded because they actually did it on TV and then we don't usually go out on Mondays or I mean we don't usually go out on Sundays but we this time I had to work on the Monday so we went on a Sunday and we ended up being stuck in traffic like all day but luckily they um, had extended hours that day and so we got there just in time before the sun went down so it wasn't super sunny although it was during most of the day but the time we got there it wasn't but there wasn't that many people so that was cool so I'm just deciding how I'm going to put these together. And I decided that I was going to use that banner thing from the sticker. Although I put my two day over a little bit too much to the left. So it kind of played with how I wanted to put my banner. And then I stick it down and I readjust. Well, I didn't really stick it. I try almost stick it down and then I readjust and push it. And then I can't readjust after that. So I would have moved the today tab over just a bit to the right and then it, and then I would have put the banner up a little bit higher. So because there's a space on the top, I don't like that, that emptiness, so I'm going to try and fill it in with something using either die cut or whatnot. And I'm going to go back to that star border tape because I just really like it and it adds something nice. And so there I am getting it. This pack um, actually was from a two-pack or I mean, sorry, this pack actually includes both silver and gold tape, and so I super love it. I should pick up another pack when I see it next time. If you're in Japan, you guys should get it. There we go. Oh, and then I forgot, yeah, I forgot to stick down these acetate pieces that were lying right there, and I'm just playing with it and seeing how I want to lay them down 
Now for all of my acetate, I am using just tape runner because that's the best. And it doesn't really show through. And, you know, if you're going to stare right up close, you might be able to see it. But, I mean, just normally looking at it, you won't even notice it. So, it's all good. The only thing that this tape is mesh. So, I would, if you can use, like, more flat, like your tape runner, it probably would be better because it won't stand out as much. But, it doesn't matter. And so, um, originally I had them on the right side, but then the holes were there, so especially with the flare, wouldn't have looked right. So I switched it to the other side, and then I'm going to cover up some stuff there. I'm going to get a drink, man. Ah, I'm tired. Alright, so, we are looking for my sticky stuff. And I get all my sticky stuff from the sticky stuff store. Jody Morrow, and I have a link on my blog, so if you want to go check it out, you can go order from her. I use her stick, stick stuff for everything. Um, she has great sticky tape, and it just does not move when you stick it down. There's a lot of stickiness. Okay, so that's done. Next off, we're going to go into another pullout, I believe. Yes. Oh, this one actually, I, I found a die cut, and this is a paper tray ink label I'm not sure which one it was and I really love the shape so and it was the perfect color went with the collection so there's a picture of us uh, well not of us but of the bakery where we went and we're eating we didn't have a good picture of everybody that day so I just decided to include that and Hideki and I are doing funny Fuji mountain poses that I came up with I don't know if anybody else has done that before but I decided it would look really cute and I like that picture of us. <laughs> so I'm adding a couple more um, hearts there along with the banner happy days. I love how they have the black and white kind of chalkboard type things that go along really nicely. Now um, I'm going to do another pullout and um, when we went to the Matsuri Means Festival and I was saying it was the Shiba Zakura Matsuri and so it was the that's what we went to there to see the flowers and it was a little bit muddy off the regular path so we couldn't like go over with the wheelchair because Hitty's dad has a problem walking and it would have been hard for him to walk around that whole park so I just put the boots to show that it was a bit muddy that day I think it had rained like the day before but it was perfect like weather for that day and then I put this little vest at the top there but it, we got a lot of nice pictures. There's a picture of Mount Fuji and then the the hill which has had flowers planted to look like Mount Fuji too and they call this a double Fuji. So in Japanese Mount Fuji is Fuji-san. It actually sounds like Mr. Fuji. If you add san to everything it's kind of like respectful but it's kind of cute too. And then I love that one. If you've ever seen Mount Fuji, especially up close, it is something to see. So I highly recommend you guys um, taking the opportunity to visit. And, you know, any time of the year, actually, if you go near there. As long as it's a clear day, you'll be able to see nicely. Sometimes it's um, pretty cloudy. But um, usually you have a gorgeous view of it. I think especially in winter because of the air, you get a good, um, crisp view of it. During the summertime when it gets hotter and more humid, it tends to, I don't know, get cloudy, you know, because of the difference in temperature. I'm not sure, but um, the only time that you can climb Mount Fuji is during the summer months. So, anyways, um, I decided that I need to make another tab, and I had some tabs, um, some pull-out cards cut, but um, I, did, I ran out of them, so I made one more with this flower paper from the collection. Actually, this is the Hello Sunshine Pink Paisley paper pad, and I just used the one sheet, so I didn't really mention it, but I'm using um, these star stickers from there, and I wasn't sure if it was going to have enough, so I decided to check, and I seemed to have enough, and I used three of the bigger ones and then two smaller ones. And that was a cool picture because it looked like the Maguro was painted 
or looked like the magro was coming out of the wall, but it was actually painted directly onto it. But it had this 3D effect, so it was super cool. And I took a picture of Hideki, and he took one of me, and I decided to include that. And then there's when we went to see Mount Fuji more in wintertime, and it was such a nice sunny day. And I'm really pleased with the photos that we got of the family. And then I'm putting this flare from Studio Calico, which says, Today, sunshine and happiness today. And that will we'll finish off the last coffee sleeve page. But I still have um, a couple pullouts to complete. This one is us when we went to see Mount Fuji in the wintertime there in Ashigata Park, I think that's what it was called. Uh, anyways, I forget. <laughs> but um, we went to an all-you-can-eat buffet that had like things made from the fresh farms around the area of Mount Fuji and it was so good so you could and it also the the best thing about it was you could see a view of Mount Fuji here and it was really nice eating right next to Mount Fuji like that and I put the bubble speech bubble you make me happy because it's so nice to visit that area for us and then here's a picture of us when we went to Ikea, and I'm being a little silly, silly with my cupcake. I thought it'd be cute to hold it up to my nose. <laughs> and I like that saying there, so I included that with it. And then I have this umbrella to go along, and I want to make sure I glue down the handle, otherwise it will bend and tear as you're pulling it in and out. So you have to make sure it's secure. You could use your um, Xanax tape runner to, you know, make it more secure if you want. And I'm just seeing how I want to put these raindrops. I was thinking I might put them under, but then I decided to just put them over, and they look really cute. They're jumbo, too. And then I'm readjusting because I put it up a little bit too high, but um, it fits perfectly now. And then on the back, we have a picture of us at Ikea. Well, I'm taking the picture here. And they had a lot of fun visiting. It was the first time for me and for them to go to Ikea in the in Japan. I hate Ikea's been before, but... So there's the My Friend cover. And I love how clean and simple it is. And it just goes together nicely. And then I, look, I have those rings on the side there. I added the red rings and they match nicely. There's the piece that you didn't see before. That's um, my mom with Hideki's mom and his aunt. And I put a love you thing from Studio Cheap Ride there. And then I'm just going over. I love how it looks. No fuss, no muss, just make it. Clean and simple, that's how you do it. And if you wanted to really get you know, down and dirty or just add a little bit more, I would recommend getting some acrylic paints and just kind of brushing them over top. Um, even more like a paintbrush effect if you want, and then you would you could cover up all that backing and not have to worry about it. Um, I'm not too picky, and I like this just kind of looks recycled, you know. And there it is all together. There's us. Ta-da! So if you visit Starbucks or any other coffee place, sometimes they have those coffee sleeves out. So make sure you, you either ask or take some of those home with you so that you can make your own coffee sleeve album. These are really big size ones, so they must be the extra large ones, I'm assuming. Um, they fit roughly just shy of four inches by three and a quarter, I think. So that's a pretty good, pretty good um, size to put in there and then so on my printer I just printed like a sheet with like eight photos on it and then for the mini pictures I just put my photos into Word and I like resize them so that they would be tinier and then I just cut them all up using my paper trimmer and then some of these tags I think I eventually end up rechanging how the tags went into the pockets like so that the front would be have a cute the that love tab out, and you would see it on the front cover, I mean. So I like that better. But that's what it looks like. And if you want to see more of a simple overview, you can check out my, my Scrappy Life to hear me actually talking as I hold it. Or you can go to my blog and see a couple pictures and information and supplies. I think so much.